Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. So Cancer, the messages that I put forth, they are timeless. Whenever you click on this video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will resonate. Just take what applies, leave the rest. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. So definitely check your other placements. So let's tap in Cancer. Spirit, give me some energy for Cancer. What is the message? messages for cancer what do you want cancer to know at this time what's the energy spirit what would you like for cancer to know at this time what's the energy the hangman pisces energy bottom of the deck the king of pentacles okay somebody could be thinking about a commitment getting into a relationship bossing up somebody could also be thinking about their finances, their career. I'm also getting home. Somebody could live on an island. Definitely, I'm hearing Jupiter. Definitely check on um, your Jupiter placement as well. Let's go ahead and tap in and see what Spirit needs you to know. Spirit, give me some energy for the hangman. Why is the hangman here for cancer? What is the energy? Why is... The hangman here for cancer. What is the message, spirit? Why is the hangman here? Page of Pentacles. Somebody could be learning something new. For some of you, you could be um in school. I'm hearing studies. Take give me more energy for the hangman. What is the energy spirit? Why is the hangman here for cancer? The chariot, but in the reverse. Somebody could not know what you want to study. You're still trying to figure something out when it comes to your schooling. I'm also getting, somebody could work for like the Department of Motor Vehicles. I'm also hearing the Department of Education. Somebody could work for the state. Be a state employee. Give me energy for the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here for Cancer? What is the energy? Your energy on the chariot, the Seven of Swords. So somebody is getting caught up in their lies. Somebody's discovering the truth. Somebody's no longer able to proceed with a lie or multiple lies. Deception, Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's like you feel like you have to protect yourself from this person. Or this could be going on with the energy that's energetically tied to you. Yeah, but somebody's in the mindset of having to guard themselves. Because they're finding out that someone is a liar. And I'm hearing compulsive liar. Give me energy for the Seven of Swords. The number seven could be significant with the Seven of Swords and Seven of Wands here. The number 77. Why is the Seven of Swords here? For Cancer, what is the energy? Why is the Seven of Swords here for Cancer? What's the message, Spirit? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's lies are just not going to work. Yeah, it, it's just not working or has stopped working. I feel like people are now looking deeper at what this person is saying. And it don't make any sense. Something's just not adding up. Give me energy for the Seven of Swords. For some of you, somebody could be lying about work, lying about having a job. Somebody could be lying about how much they make. Somebody don't make as much as they state. Give me energy for the Seven of Pen the Seven of Swords. Queen of Cups in the reverse. For some of you, this is a feminine energy. This is a Cancer. That's lying, being manipulative. Somebody could be very controlling, um, emotionally unstable, not mature, like ice cold, very vindictive. Somebody's finding this out about this feminine energy. For some of you, this could be a mother figure, someone you have a child with or this person shares a kid with. For some of you, this is somebody's own mom. Give me an energy for the Queen of Cups in the reverse, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody will not be able to get away with this, whatever these lies are. The truth is here. I feel like somebody has been able to keep this up for a long time, but not anymore. It's like the buck stops here type of energy. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Cancer? What is the energy? 
Why is the Seven of Wands here for Cancer? What's the message, Spirit? Ten of Cups. So for some of you, this is multiple people um, protecting themselves from this Queen of Cups in the reverse. So this person has lied to a lot of people. Something has to do with the people in this person's family or your family. Take it as it resonates. Give me an energy for the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Cancer? What's the energy? Why is the Seven of Wands here? The magician in the reverse, Virgo, Gemini, energy. Yeah, this person's not able to manipulate a group of people anymore. Like, that's over. Somebody sees the truth about this energy. Um, again, I'm hearing compulsive. Somebody is just a compulsive liar. Somebody lies all the time. Somebody can't help it. But this is how this feminine energy likes to control situations, get things to go in her favor. Give me an energy for the magician in the reverse. Why is the magician in the reverse here for cancer? What's the message? Four of wands. Yeah, it's like this person has been manipulating a group of people um, that is in her family. Or like I said, your family. Or again, this is somebody who's energetically tied to you, their family. Or just people that they love, that they're close to, friends. Um, for some of you... This person has been able to manipulate someone that she's in a relationship with, that she shares a family dynamic with, just to have control, to have someone stuck in hangman so they can't go anywhere. That's why this person has been lying, to have someone stuck in a commitment for some of you, a marriage, a home situation. But again, it's not working. Things aren't adding up anymore. Give me an energy for the chariot in the reverse. Why is the chariot in the reverse here for cancer? What is the message? The lovers in the reverse. So this person lied in order to secure a relationship. So that this person would take action towards you. Somebody ended up with a karmic. Somebody ended up in the wrong connection based on some lies this masculine energy for some of you this could be a pisces or a cancer or somebody that has a highly aspected yeah this is a couple one person is upright and the other person is in the reverse somebody tied themselves to a karmic give me an energy for the lovers in the reverse Something just could have been um, physical. Give me an energy for the lovers in the reverse. Why is this here for cancer? What's the energy? Ace of Wands. Yeah. The, something was just based on passion and that's it. This relationship didn't go anywhere. Literally. Somebody's stuck in a dead end connection. Like it's not going anywhere. Give me an energy for the lovers in the reverse. Why is this here? But somebody chose to believe the lies, the manipulation. And now, yeah, this person is finding out the truth. But they've already made the decision. They've already taken action. Give me an energy for the lovers in the reverse. The page of wands. For some of you, these people can have a child together. Somebody could be stuck in a marriage or relationship because of a kid. Yeah, it's like somebody listened to a lie. I'm talking about major lies. And it didn't make any sense at the time, but somebody never really thought, stopped to think about it. Somebody never really questioned it. They just believed this energy. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Judgment and the Queen of Wands. So whoever this feminine energy is, is this masculine judgment? Is somebody karma? This third party, this was definitely a third party situation. And like I said, a child is involved. So this person was a queen of wands to this queen of cups. But now that a kid is in the picture, this person has become a queen of cups. But this person is in the reverse. This is somebody who doesn't even like nurture her own child or children. Give me an energy for the queen of wands. 
Lots of Queen of Wands here. What is the energy? The Moon and the Two of Cups. Yeah, there was a secret relationship here. This person had a secret relationship with this third party. I'm hearing Junior. Somebody could have a son. Someone could have named their son after them. This masculine energy. Heavy Cancer. Heavy Pisces. Give me that energy for judgment. Why is judge? Give me something for the moon. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here for Cancer? What's the energy? The Six of Swords. Somebody went back. Yeah. Somebody went back to someone and got into a relationship and ended up starting a family with this person. I'm hearing traditional. Something could have to do with um, this person's beliefs. Somebody could have went back to someone from their past because they share similar beliefs. For some of you, you could either be more religious, more spiritual. But this person went back to what they were comfortable with. This is somebody that really don't think out the box. Likes the familiar. And this person thought you um, were too different. Something about your belief system radical. is too radical for this person. Give me an energy for judgment. Why is judgment here? For cancer, what is the message? Why is judgment here for cancer? What is the energy spirit? The world in the reverse? Oh yeah, somebody caught up in a cycle. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Tell me more about judgment. Why is judgment here for cancer? What is the energy? The king of wands in the reverse. So this is somebody that was a player, like to get around. Okay, so for some of you, I did a reading like this before. I forgot what sign it is, but it talks about a karmic couple that are each other's karma. So this feminine energy is this masculine's karma because she's very mean spirited. Somebody's very cold. For some of you, attention seeking. Very manipulative not nurturing at all and this masculine is this feminine's karma because this person is a player this person likes to get around this is somebody who is not going to change anytime soon i'm hearing been around the world yeah this person has been around the block a few times more than a few times and this person doesn't plan on stopping so they're both each other's karma Somebody tied themselves to someone who's a queen of cups in the reverse. Emotionally unstable and this feminine energy tied herself to a king of wands in the reverse. For some of you, this person could be very lazy, egotistical, very prideful. My way or the highway. I feel like that's why these two bump heads a lot. And this is somebody that's not ready to change at all. Somebody's going to continue being a player. Continue being a king of wands in the reverse. But that's justice. That's fair. They're both each other's karma. Somebody didn't listen to their intuition. The high priestess in the reverse. Somebody loves clout. Very attention seeking. For some of you, both of these people are attention seeking. It's like like attract like. Give me an energy for the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here for cancer? What is the energy? The king of swords in the reverse. The ten of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody made a horrible decision. It was a poor decision making. Somebody jeopardized their destiny, their fate. Ten of Pentacles to build with somebody who's very like-minded. To be abundant, somebody walked away from their abundance. 
based on a lie for some of you, based on beliefs. Again, I'm hearing tradition. Somebody walked away from their tan. They didn't have clarity, but now they do or they're getting it. Give me an energy for the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Knight of Swords. Yeah. It's like somebody's finances are going to be halted. For some of you, this is somebody that likes to look good, really put on, but mostly for the public. Somebody could be a show off. Somebody loves mat the material, name brand this, name brand that, driving a nice car, having a nice home, something about an island. I'm hearing virgin islands for someone. I'm hearing ancestry. But this person's abundance has been halted because they walked away from their tan. So they don't get to be fruitful. They get to settle in this karmic partnership they chose for themselves. Spirit, give me a final message. It's like somebody's no longer going to be able to move forward when it comes to them building, creating a life of stability. They're stuck. Hey, man, they're stuck. Right where they are. Spirit, give me a final message for cancer. What's the energy? And like I said, something has to do with the child, the baby boy. Give me an energy for cancer. What's the message? The six of cups. The past. It's like the past has finally caught up to someone. That's what this is. The past has finally caught up to someone. Someone's lies, the manipulation, the fact that someone made the wrong choice. It's finally caught up. Somebody's money slowing down. Somebody's losing a lot. Somebody's very hard-headed, very stubborn, toxic. That's why this person got caught up too because they are in their karmic energy. But it's like whatever is happening is fair. It's justified. It's going to make someone grow up. It's going to make them become wiser. And stop resisting what's actually meant to help them. What's actually going to bring them happiness. Or you. Take it as it resonates. But this is your reading. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.